Hello, I'm Joseph Paines. Let's talk about SLAM for AR. To start, what is SLAM? It is a method of having a system be able to interpret sensor data to map an unknown environment, and at the same time, know where it is within the environment. To provide an easier example, let us look first at Roombas, a small autonomous vacuum cleaner. Back in 2002, the original Roomba did not use any form of SLAM, Rather, using pseudo-random search patterns that decided how it could navigate throughout a room. Later, they implemented SLAM into a Roomba that used laser rangefinders and bump sensors to help it navigate. Using SLAM, the Roomba also used its map to know which rooms it had cleaned and where it needed to go, cutting down on total cleaning time by 18%, with pathfinding cut by 47%. Additionally, SLAM has allowed advanced functionalities such as emptying its bin or charging itself. How is SLAM used in AR? SLAM for AR applications and systems tend towards more visual methods as their main source of information, such as depth sensors and color cameras. The HoloLens uses four grayscale cameras and a depth camera, also known as a time-of-flight camera, which was originally developed for the Kinect. The four grayscale cameras are used to understand the device's movement, while the depth camera is used to understand the environment. Then, these two streams of information are interpreted to provide a foundation from which AR applications can place objects and user interfaces within the context of the real world. For example, having a model town on a table remains stationary when the user wanders around or looks away. However, Headsets such as the HoloLens are rather limited when it comes to outdoor use. For applications such as visualizing a building, the small field of view, small display, and low resolution could lead to the user misunderstanding what they are seeing. Larger devices such as tablets can help avoid these issues. For instance, this application uses a markerless SLAM algorithm, which allows the user to see a house on an empty pot of land. However, it is not flawless it can lose sight of trackable features when the user is moving around or errors in the object can occur. Also, it will struggle to display taller buildings since to look at a skyscraper, you would need to look up, but there may not be enough features with which SLAM can function. An example of a markerless SLAM algorithm used in AR is Orb SLAM 2. It can work with either mono or stereo cameras and RGB depth systems. In essence, it establishes depth in the same way as a human. With just one camera, it requires an initialization through moving the camera to establish depth based on multiple angles. When using multiple sensors, it can function straight away. Alternatively, you could use a marker-based SLAM, where you distribute physical markers throughout an environment known to the system. For monocular systems, this is very beneficial, since it can establish depth as easily as with multiple cameras and deals with additional issues such as rotational movements. Finally, let's talk about two challenges that SLAM must overcome. The first is a more general issue. This is the loop closure problem. This occurs due to all sensory data used by SLAM containing some amount of inaccuracy. Over time, this can, if not dealt with, accumulate, making it impossible to locate itself within the environment. This can even lead to the map distorting. An example of this is called the infinite corridor. The core takeaway of this example is that it has not recognized that it has been somewhere before, resulting in the internal map no longer reflecting reality. The next challenge is more AR focused, since it needs to perform in real time. After all, an AR system presents information to a human user. Unlike a robot, the system has no control over deciding when or where it moves. Thus, it needs to keep up with the user while maintaining a cohesive understanding of the environment. Therefore, the algorithm needs to be optimal both in terms of computational complexity and decision-making, and utilize its resources effectively. For an example of how SLAM can overcome these problems, check in the description box below. Thank you for listening. I'm Joseph Paines. Have a nice day, and goodbye.